Hello and welcome to this episode of J-Man Kind Allotment Diaries. As usual, what I'm going to try and do is have fun, okay, give you a brief update of what I'm doing at the plot, um, what I've done, what I haven't done, and then I'm going to go and, well, as usual, I try to have at least one objective today uh, when I come to the plot. The objective today is going to be transplanting my cabbage. That's going to be the objective today. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the episode, you'll have a joke, you'll have a laugh, you may even learn something but the um, the weather has absolutely been fantastic it's now just gone uh, in the afternoon in the second week of May keep watching and today I'm at the plot apparently today it's national naked allotment day or something like that so I may take a couple of layers off let's just see what happens but keep on watching it's gonna be fun or at least I think it's fun you may not let's see what happens <laughs> okay so I'm gonna give you a quick update on the plot this is obviously the greenhouse I still haven't tidied and cleaned that up I've still got to fix some of the glass on there let's go around a little bit this is bed number one I've got my potatoes in there I'm really really chuffed a bit I put them in there a couple of weeks ago I can already see the green shoots coming out I'm actually smiling from ear to ear seeing the uh, start of the potatoes I've not been able to see that more importantly this is bed number two I put my turnips in there um, not too long ago um, a couple of days to a week ago so that's bed number two there okay let's move on to bed number three this is bed number three I worked on it today I've got my cabbage in there that's bed number three cabbage transplanted today okay and let's move on now and this is gonna be bed number four my last and final bed as you can see it's a blue sheet I'm gonna uncover this dig out the shape today once I've dug out the shape I might get a chance to take out some of the weeds if I do fabulous if I don't gotta get a start okay so this is gonna be my top tip for the day when I first got an allotment I could have just cleared it the whole thing up and not been growing anything I'd have been stuck beautiful plot nothing wrong what I did do however was I started tidying up while tidying I started sewing things and as I sewed things the plot became or the raised bed became available to put something in stuck it straight in at the same time bed two became available stuck it straight in so it's important to seed at the same time always have a bit of a plan so if you seed something is there going to be a space available hopefully there will be if you plan properly it's worked for me in bed number four it's going to be my running beans my running beans are at home at the minute I've sold them, they're almost ready for transplanting. Really, I need to get this bed done. I've got to transplant the runner beans in the next week. The weather's getting better, it's getting warmer. Today's been a fantastic day. So plan, get that done. Then I get my runner beans in there and then potentially my onions. I forgot what group of families they're called. They're called legumes or brassicas. I can't remember, I'll have to check my notes. Keep on watching. Okay, so quite simply, what I'm going to have to do is um, dig out all the weeds uh, slowly but surely on the right hand side. The left hand side actually is fine, I've already taken out the weeds on that before I actually put the blue thing down. So on the right hand side I'm going to have to dig it up, take out the weeds, top tip here it comes. Use a fork when you're taking out the weeds, if you use a spade then you're only going to shred the uh, the roots and multiply the weeds okay so if you use a spade you can end up cutting the weeds and you'll have more weeds if you use a fork all you're going to do is pull them up and take them out so here goes a long 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 job of pulling out the weeds So, as you all know, it's meant to be um, National um, 
get naked day or something or or um, national allotment naked day or something like that. So I thought maybe I'd give it a uh, I'd give it a go and see uh, see maybe I'll uh, I water some uh, some plants in the greenhouse something like that. So uh, without further ado, let's get down. Eh? So already two items there. So hopefully uh, have a bit of fun eh? That was refreshing, gotta be honest, it was refreshing. Good old, uh, bit, bit, bit windy, but it's, uh, I think I've fulfilled my allotment duties, haven't I, yeah? Yeah, I think I have. Okay, so like I said, my objective for today is literally gonna be putting my cabbage into the raised bed. Anyway, let's get on. So, what I've decided to do um, these particular cabbage actually open up to a decent size so what I'm going to do is I'm only going to put four in sorry not four I'm going to put one here one there leave a little bit so I've changed my mind I'm actually going to put three in now what I need to do is just mark out very easily three so let's just go to the center that's about the center there are small lines so one's definitely going to go here and one's probably going to go here here and then here now it's going to be there. So, um, what I did was I planted two trays, okay? And the reason why I planted two trays is I did a bit of an experiment. This one over here had just multi purpose compost, nothing else in there. Put the seeds in. I gave this one the same environment as this one. However, you can see this one has a lot more growth in it and it germinated better. In this one, I put a magic ingredient. I will tell you the magic ingredients after I've planted all of this. But look at the difference. You know, there's, there's, there's what, seven or eight in here? In here there must be at least 10 or 15. Same, similar number of seeds, same environment. The only thing that was different was that had a special ingredient in there. And I will tell you, if I don't, please put in the comments and I will tell you what the special ingredient was, which helped me germinate this a lot more. Okay, so let's... Uh, Okay, so quite happy with what I've done today. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cabbage in. I do have more cabbage. I'm gonna keep some just in case these get eaten by slugs or anything like that. Last thing to do is literally gonna be watering the plants. Get rid of them. One of the most important things to do. Give them a good old watering. I've got another top tip actually. The tip is, before I transplanted these just now, I gave them a really, really good watering this morning. Now, the reason for that was to make sure the weeds, not sorry, the weeds, the roots had taken in plenty, and I mean plenty of moisture, because obviously they were gonna come here, they're gonna be disturbed, it may be a good couple of days before the roots actually bed in and can take any more. So I gave them a good, good watering. That's my top tip. So that is now them transplanted. I'm gonna try and make some kind of netting. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a netting just on my turnips here. Stop the birds getting them. But I need to buy some netting. I forgot to buy some more netting. So I'm gonna try and make some kind of concoction just to protect them for um, today really. I'll be back tomorrow, definitely put netting on them. I've looked after these for two months and now I've put them in. If something happens, I'm gonna be really, really frustrated. Okay. okay, so now that I've got the cabbage in the ground, what I need to do is I need to cover it with some kind of netting or what will happen is the birds from up there will come 
and eat them. And at the same time, I've actually got some slug pellets. I'm going to put some slug pellets just around the side. I'm going to try my best, and I mean my best, not to put it in the plants because I want to try and be as organic as I can. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do. Put some slug pellets, first of all, around. Okay, so let's sprinkle them on. And the reason why I'm doing them around the side and not particularly near the, um, the crops is by the time the slugs get to the crops, I want them to be dead. And I don't want to really be putting them into the, um, too much near the crops because obviously when I water them, they're going to be going in. So I'm trying to uh, put them just all the way around. So the slugs are trying to get in, hopefully by the time they get all the way around, they're going to, uh, they're going to die. probably can't see on the camera but I'm happy with that cabbages are down it's now protected from the birds above some slug pellets protected from the pests from below hopefully they'll just grow next thing is going to be sorting out the next part of the allotment hi thanks for watching I've now come to the end of the episode what I'd like to say is as usual, I come to the plot with one objective or two objectives. Objective number one today was get the cabbage in the plot. I've done that, so I'm happy. Bonus objective, we'll start on bed number four. Now, I've started bed number four. I've taken out most of the weeds, so I'm really happy. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. More importantly, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Again, I'm at the allotment. I'm learning. It's lots and lots of fun. I'll see you soon.